I, I guess I guess there's a lyric in Breakdown again another song I think about standing up for yourself but the, the lyric that I really pulled out was because I'm so much more than meets the eye that that song came after Amy Lee wrote Call Me When You're Sober huh. and told the whole world that I'm a drunk and a piece of shit and I was in rehab and you know I, I came out and I figured I never ever write a song about somebody specifically and I'm certainly not going to come back and be like fuck you bitch you know you you say this about me and I'm going to you know because there, there were many things I could say about her which I've never said and, and, I, and, and to this day I will refuse to say because there was a time in three years that I loved the shit out of that girl and I still miss her as my friend um, she refuses to be my friend in fact I, I feel like she's spending her entire life trying to destroy mine which is ridiculous hmm. um, that song was about uh, you know dealing with going to fucking Toronto getting to a hotel and there's a bunch of kids sitting outside and then you walk upstairs dump your bags come downstairs and they fucking pull their car out front and they play call me when you're sober fucking blasting it out the window like I'm some piece of shit I'm like you don't even fucking know who I am and uh, I've never defended myself yes I, w I am a drunk I'm, I'm a fucking alcoholic I do drugs I'm a piece of shit I'll say that but at least I'll admit to it you know what I'm saying at, at least I'll say yes this is what I do. I won't stand on some fucking pedestal and make myself to be out, you know, out to be some deity that that is that is 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 above reproach and is untouchable. At least I'll be honest and say, yes, I do fucking cocaine. I, I shouldn't do as much as I do. It's a it's it's one of my biggest crutches in this world. I deal with it, man. Not very well, but I'm trying to get to a point where I'll stop for me. Not because somebody else wants me to, you know. And, and I wrote that song. Yeah, there's so much more than meets the eye. Because people were fucking, they were dissing me. You know, they were like, "Wow, he must be an asshole." Really? Do you know who the fuck I am? I'd have people come to my fucking shows wearing Evanescence t-shirts, throwing shit at me. You know? Yeah. I'm, um, I'm sorry about that part of it, but I wonder it, it, it could, couldn't there be something genuine about? I don't know how else to get your attention. So this is the way I want to get your attention because they actually think that your life could be better if stop drinking, stop drugs, blah blah blah. You know what I mean? That's that's fair enough. I, yeah, no, that's I, the, I, the I, only thing I can think is that maybe there is something that that's genuine yeah, from the heart. Nobody wants to see anybody else drink themselves to death. Yeah. Nobody wants to yeah. see that. But the point is, you, you don't got normally yeah. you break up with a girlfriend and, and you fucking move to a different neighborhood or you don't you know, you don't have a fucking girlfriend write a song about you. Yeah. saying what a piece of shit you are and that hurt it was yeah. I, I felt like i felt like i'd given her more confidence in her life i felt like i felt like i'd helped her bolster herself her 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 ego her you know that it was it was just such an underhanded and the video man at the end of the video you know there's a video with like there's this wolfy character and at the end she's like she does this condescending fucking smirk into the camera and i knew it was directed at me, hmm. you know, and that, it, it, I loved that girl, man. Yeah. And I fucked up, but I, I'll admit it. No one's ever asked me what she did. No one's ever asked me, you know, I just had to deal with the fact that, well, he's a piece of shit. He's a drunk. And everyone's like, oh, poor you. Fuck you. You know? Okay, I'm just going to ask you because you said nobody has ever asked you that. But I'll ask you that because I don't do celebrity interviews, you know. I just don't do it. I don't care about I don't care about the dirt in your life so much no. on the celebrity level. I care about the dirt in your life because of what it does to you as a person, right? Yeah. So so what'd she do? What did she do? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it would be a world exclusive, but honestly, man, it's... She, to sum it up, she became someone I didn't know anymore. And, okay. and she believed the hype and changed. And, and I didn't like the person I saw anymore. I didn't, I didn't like the person I woke up next to. I'd rather wake up next to somebody that I love and I go, thank God you're still here, like we talked about, rather than go, Jesus Christ, I'm still here. 
and that's simple as that. It, it, it became, yeah. you know, in in that song in breakdown, it's like uh, the world we have is yours. That's really what it means. So is is no Jesus Christ toward the same relationship? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, that's a double-edged sword right there. That's a, that's a, it's pretty blatantly obvious that it's, it, it's about fuck somebody. Yeah. And the Jesus Christ reference was because of, of, of the, of the, uh, the hypocritical, oh, I'm Christian. No, I'm not. You know, you know, yeah, it was, <laughs> I love that song because of the fact that it's, really angry and it retains a vagueness <laughs> yeah. to an extent right <laughs> the, the one th the one thing that i ever uh, i try to give everybody the 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 benefit of the doubt if not the grace because i don't think i give enough grace to people you know i mean just genuinely okay this is what you're going through then yeah. i give you, i gotta give you a break but i do think there's one thing out there about like you know <laughs> the whole christian thing it's like it's the people. <laughs> it is the people. It's the yeah. people. And I'm I, like, and, and when somebody, you know, brings right. Jesus into the conversation and stuff, I just go, oh, no, oh, but oh, you're right. oh, 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 I don't know where my, this is going. My so. uncle, my uncle is an elder in a church and he sings in the choir and all this kind of shit. And I walked into their church one night wearing a Rage Against the Machine t-shirt and uh, uh, a pair of ripped jeans. And they looked at me like I was a piece of shit while they were all wearing their three-piece suits. And I'm like, what fucking difference does it make what I'm wearing, yeah. man? Right. I mean, he loves us all, right? He loves us all equally. So mm. uh, that that whole, you know what? Simpsons. Uh, I think it was a Simpsons quote where we, we we sent the kids to Bible camp so they come back more judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Honestly, I think the Simpsons tackled religion as 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 with as fine a tooth comb as you could possibly do and yeah. just nail it so and, many times. And I think that there's there's an insane craze of, of, of you know, 18 year olds getting married so they can get laid and then getting divorced within a year or two because, you know, yeah. hey, you know what, there's nothing wrong with fucking. There's nothing wrong with getting your, your, your rocks off. It's, it's human nature. I just, again, I'm the, I'm the kind of guy that refuses to be told what to do. But I think you shove your feelings down inside yourself many, many times, and I think that's what you're writing about with Six Gun Quota. Am I close? Well, the Six Gun Quota was was a six six shot quota didn't didn't sound as good. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> you know, so it was like it was it was because uh, I, I would go out and I was like, yeah, I was miserable, man. And shoving and it I, down and shoving I, it down. I, I, but, and... It, but but it's me admitting that that I, I've I've destroyed things, you know. I'm, again, man, I'm I, I'm an open book. If you if you choose to find it, if you choose to look deep enough, it's not it's not rocket science. And is that what you hope too? I mean, do you hope that there's? I guess I guess that's why I don't think that's I don't think. I mean, in a way, you're kind of reaching out through these songs, right? Besides it being therapeutic and 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 purging yourself, there is a reach out going. Hey, I, I, it's a I'm not okay It's here. a cry for help, help, man. Yeah, right. Fuck yeah, it is. It, it's, it's, it's... That's so honest. It, 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 it's literally, it's like, this is me going, I'm fucked up. Please help me. You know, and, and, and not many people will, will step up to that challenge, you know. Not, honestly, fucking most of my friends won't. Most of my friends are as fucked up as I am, but... I mean, my brother died, dude, and the whole crew knew my brother, and we lived on, we were on one bus for about two months, and I remember this, this one fucked up story, we're in Atlanta, and I go outside, and this chick's like, hey, I, I, got, I got heroin, I'm like, well, hook, hook me up, right, so, so, actually, she had methadone, so she gives me a methadone pull, I swallow that, she gives me about eight Valiums. I climb back on the bus. I forget everything. This is the last thing I remember is taking a methadone and walking on my bus. Uh, I wake By up the way, that's faith. <laughs> yeah. To think what she's giving. No but shit. Anyway, go well, ahead. well, she was she was yeah. trying to get laid. But I walk on the bus, and I wake up the next morning, and 
My bunk is the lower back right. I wake up in the, in, in the upper right top bunk next to my merch girl with no pants on because I'd pissed my bunk apparently. Impressive. Yeah, so fucking glamorous. Then I find out I was sitting on the bus, just, you know, I came on and I slammed a Valium, waited 30 seconds, then took another one, and then I dropped one, and somebody was like, I think my sound guy goes, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, fuck you, dude, you know? Did anyone ever, 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 ever ask me about that incident ever again? No. These are my, these are my fucking best friends in the world, dude. Everyone's afraid of me. Like I'm, I'm some sort of monster or something. And are you a monster or are you the money guy? <laughs> Is there a difference? No, I, I, I mean... <laughs> yeah, well, I asked the question, but yeah, right. I wonder. Because if, I'm, if, if everybody around you is going to treat you with kid gloves, then... Yeah. Well, uh, I have friends around me that, that, don't, that don't now. Like, yeah. like Back then, it was, it was, it was difficult, man. The, to know that I get off... Or, for example... You know, I do blow two days straight, play a show in Boston. I can't even finish the show. I collapse on fucking stage, sitting on the side of the stage thinking I'm dying. And they rush me to the hospital. I'm in hospital for two hours. And here's what sucked about that experience. Not what I went through, but this club we played, I'm in the hospital and four girls get brought into the hospital that night that have been roofied by some pieces of shit at the bar that mm -hmm. we just been at. These girls couldn't even breathe. Uh. They had machines. You know what I'm saying? So I go, cool. One part of me is going, thank fuck I'm alive. The other part's going, Jesus Christ, is that what my fucking fans do? Yeah. These girls, dude, there was a computer screen that had all the rooms, and and there were different symbols for, for you know. It was like, let's let's say let's say uh, okay, uh, let's say, sun for the room is cool you know fucking thunderstorm lightning bolts for the ones that are fucked up and those four girls one of the girls got taken up to the icu and fucking i watched a girl i watched a girl with a pipe in her fucking throat to help her breathe throw up mm. uh as i walked out and that was somebody at my show yeah right and i think that's why how songs like waste come out <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like that's one of my favorite songs ever, man. I didn't even write the song. It was, it really? was a buddy of mine, uh, Jason, wrote the song. He brought me the music, and I was like, well, "Let me let me put the vocals over this." I didn't even play guitar on that. Uh, I listened to it uh, this morning. It's it's one of those songs where it's like uh, lyrically, I was just I just got it, you know, like it, it just. Show, so find me a way to leave this wasted life. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's heavy duty stuff, dude. Right? It's it's uh it, that that the lyrics were written after my brother my brother had died, so it was uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it hits on various levels, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone thinks this is so fucking glamorous and so cool and but again, macaroni and cheese six nights a week, man. I don't uh I don't wish uh, the rock and roll life on on people. I, I I wish the hour and a half on stage at night for people because that's when I think everybody gets moved and from yeah. both sides of the stage, right? But uh, but you know sometimes it's what sixteen hours in a in a bus to get there. And and I talk to a lot of bands that are in vans, yeah. dude. And I'm sure you remember riding I've been in, in a van, the van, right? Yeah. Think about. I mean, how do they do it? They sleep in vans. I mean, oh my god. Yeah. Anyway. Our first tour was uh, in a pickup truck. It was Dave, our drummer, and me driving. Dale was in the back with my brother doing sound because we didn't know who else to get to fucking do sound. <laughs> but he would turn the knobs to where it sounded cool as a fan. And one night, we're in a club, and he's rocking out so hard behind the soundboard, he smacks his forehead on the soundboard. He comes up, and he's got these fucking crescent, like, like blood spots, like, you, you know, and, and that tour, man, wow, we, we lived, we lived hand to mouth on that tour. We, we would tour, make enough money to go to the next show. We, we ate fucking bread and mustard. You know. Yeah, dude. I mean, there's, there's guys I talk to, they eat one Taco Bell taco a day. And that's, that's sustenance for them, right? 
It, it, God bless you people. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> I guess, right? I mean, if you can do that. And then everybody gets pissed when you, when you become popular. <laughs> it's like. You sold out. <clears throat> you sold out so you can have a burrito. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that's, that's what's funny is, is, is when we were eating shit for all those years, then you're cool, right? But then as soon as you get some sort of popularity and you're on the radio and then now you, you're a sellout, it's like, motherfucker, I, <laughs> you've made more money in a week than I've made in two years yeah. working. You know, it, it's, it's financial, man. It's, it's. Hey, is uh, don't believe a conversation with or about alcohol? Uh, it's just a conversation with me. Yeah. Eyes of the Devil, sort of, same sort of subject matter, on that, I think. Uh, actually, on that album, Like Suicide, is a, is a conversation with cocaine. Oh, really? Yeah. And you led the record with that, right? Yep. Still having that conversation? <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm not going to lie. I don't want you to. But I, I also want to talk to you in two years because you, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, it sounds stupid, right? But somebody's got to say it. And uh, and I can't write a song about it and get it on uh, get a video made of it and uh, remind you that your life is uh, has value. That, but know? I appreciate that, though, man. It's a, it's a, I I I have decided that there are people in this world that just weren't supposed to be happy ever. You know, I mean, it's nice to think we we can all be happy, but I, I think there has to be a balance. There has to be. You know, and I feel like I'm one of those people. I feel like I'm one of those people that no matter how many fucking times I think I'm happy, you know, I climb out of that fucking bucket and somebody else fucking pulls me back down. It's, uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to be a tragedy. I'd, I'd like not to be a tragedy because I think, I think that that's kind of martyrdom. But I, uh, I just don't feel like I'm supposed to be one of those guys, man. You know, and, and, and that in itself is is open to debate, but I just feel like I'm just not supposed to be happy. Well, I think you're writing about those feelings in here and now off the new record, right? Yeah. It's right in the heart of it, and this seems so complicated when all I want is just the truth. Yeah. What, whatever that, and that's of course where you, where you pulled the title of the of the record for uh, no, you know actually, strings actually, strings much better left to frame. No, right? I I got I the title came before that song. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh. I put that into the song because I was like well this fits that's yeah. amazing and it, 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 it went with the sentiment uh -huh. and, and are you reaching out to somebody there or something I mean are you just is it that sort of ethereal anybody dude. give me help right give me direction dude I was doing fucking blow every night uh some days I, w I would cancel the studio because you know I I'd fake a fucking Mexican food Stomach infection. No, seriously. All right, I believe you, but I'm... <laughs> it sucks, dude. I'm a fucker, man. It's like, at, at the heart of it all, again, told you, I'm, I'm not happy. Well, but I hear about your dad, and I'm thinking about my dad right now. What he would say, if, if I'm saying all this kind of stuff, he'd go, do you realize how much money you're wasting? My God, um, you're an idiot. Don't waste well, all this money. My dad told me. My dad told me, he's like, kid, go out there and make as much money as you can. I was like, well, dad, that goes against my principles. It's like, you know, because I, I, I want to at least have integrity. Um, then my fucking label does this to me. They put out this uh, <laughs> fucking worst thing in the world. They put out this thing called Collaboroki, right? And they're like, well, what's going to happen is... You know, what you do is, is, is you, you pick a band you like, and then you and four of your friends phone in, and you can sing a verse of the song over the phone, and then they, they make an edit, and then they send it back to you. So I'm like, well, that's cool. I said, no. A week later, See the Rookie came out on our fucking website, and I have to fucking sit there and look at this, this bullshit fucking, you know, uh, Hey man, so I went on Facebook. I was like, "Hey, just so everyone knows, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. It's horrible." And they were like, "Thank fuck you haven't sold out," because they thought we'd sold out. I was like, "Fuck you guys, man. They don't get us, man." Yeah. Point taken. The country song is really about staying away from negative people, isn't it? Even though life is good, because that's how life can be good. No, country song is about 
uh, it, country song defines understanding that something sucks and walking away from it. Mm-hmm. But also by the same token going, well, I know that, but I'm still stuck here. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, well, my ship is sinking, but it, but all's good, and I can go down with... You got me thinking that the party's all over. Yeah, okay. I yeah. got you. I got you, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a... Uh, I love the lyrics to that song. Again, I used I used sublimation. I, know, I used nice. you know I used a bunch of things in there that uh, Bane, which people kids these days don't even get. Do you read a lot? Yes. Are you in, are you in, are you in a book right now? I have a book that I haven't started reading. Oh. Uh, my my fallback is always Dean Koontz. Mm. I like I like I like the horror books, but I you mm. know I read I have one of my favorite books is is. Uh, <laughs> How to how to uh, think like Da Vinci? Really? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I had that. I have it at my house. It's uh, it's a. Uh, they try and tell you how to think like like a genius. It's bullshit. It's like you know. It's like songwriting for dummies, right? All you got to do is you got to write E G D and A, and you can make any fucking song happen. Hey, the Beatles did it. Whatever. <laughs> but it's uh, it's. And they were more complex, but ultimately, you know, I was in Fiji one time on vacation, and those guys, they could take any fucking song you've ever heard, play E, A, D, and G, and make it happen. And it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. I, I, I was sit there and jam with them at night. We drank the carver, which made me had, I had fucking horribly... Vivid nightmares, <laughs> and I don't. I don't even have nightmares. See, that would that would make me stop drinking from the get go. Well, it, it's this root that they because on the island they they, they couldn't drink. So they, they would drink this kava root, and uh, really interesting. Yeah, and and you, had, you had to try it because of that faith you have in the uh, trying hey, to find confidence. You know what? You know what? You know what I am at the end of the day is is one day when my my kid comes to me and says, "Hey, Dad, I want to do this." I can go. You know what? I've done it. This is what you're gonna go through. Not, not, not like. Oh, I read a pamphlet that said that's bad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude, I've done everything out of the sun. Only, only because I like experiences too. But do you think? Do you, do you want your kid to hear this type of of stuff that you're going through, like this interview, in the struggles that you're going through? I mean, because I assume you don't want to be the same parent that you had. My promise to my ex-wife was, I would never ever put my kid through a divorce and I failed that one I have no problems with my daughter hearing this she's nine years old and she's awesome and she's she's um, at least one day when she's old enough to understand she'll understand that I'm me Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'd I'd rather rather that than be, oh, dude, yeah, fucking check some blow, but every night, bro, you know, it's, it's, it's totally cool, and, and you know, I get blowjobs and 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 fucking, I write songs about dicks and shit. It, fuck that, man. I, I'd rather she gets to when she's old enough, she goes, wow. You know, yeah, he was as real as he could be. But uh, having said that, I, I will never talk like this ever again to anybody else. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I agree. I agreed to this because because I, I looked at your website and I was like, "Cool, dude." You know, all I want in life is to f- figure it out. I mean, in a way, I'm. It's my it's my childhood bedroom extended. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out life. Yeah, and whether it's you, <laughs> or it's Jacoby, or it's Toby Mac, or it's. Amy Lee, all those or, people you've heard, you have on your site, yeah. Right. Dude. I mean, it's like uh, we all. I think we all have glimpses of the truth. I think we do. In, I can guarantee you, <laughs> when you post this, and I want you to post all of this, I have no fucking problems with it. Yeah. I'm gonna get phone calls from my management saying, "What the fuck were you thinking?" I don't give a shit, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna stand up here on some pedestal and say, hey, mm-hmm. I'm awesome. Everything's great. Everything sucks, dude. There were, there were things in my life that are awesome. 
but in general I, I think you're right about both those sides of life in tonight on, on the new record I think you're right about um, the, the the confusion in the greatness of life and and, and maybe wanting to feel alive or feeling yeah. the aliveness <laughs> that's there yeah that, that was uh, that song the original lyrics were really dark and they were really fucking angry and then I was I was lying in bed with my girlfriend and I woke up six o'clock in the morning and I rewrote the lyrics completely, and they're all about her. Hmm. Uh, well, I'm sick of complaining <sighs> about a beautiful life. Well, yeah. that's <laughs> uh, it, so real. It, it, it's kind of sarcastic too, because <laughs> it's you know it's it's beautiful to other people, and, and to me it is as well. You know, but it, but it, but it's again it, it, it's it goes back to. Well, a lot of a lot about life, I think I've found out, is about perception. I think it's it's I can choose to think that my life sucks, or I can choose to think that my life won't suck anymore starting tomorrow. It's a choice, or, yeah. Every it, day, it's a choice. And that and that's an interesting um, dilemma sometimes, right? That we wake up and we have to go. I like dilemmas, <laughs> <laughs> but but, but I, it is. But yeah. somewhere I want to be able to say, my life is is. Is is got to get better, and I'm going to make it better. Yeah, and I don't do it every day. And I, but I might say it every day, but I don't do it every day. And I'm talking about all the stuff in well, my head. Well, it is. It, it, you you can say it, but you have to believe it. You have to have faith in it. You know, again, the faith <laughs> comes back. It's so it, funny, it, isn't it? It, it? it needs you. You have to have faith that you can turn this day around. And I'll be honest, most days I don't have the faith. I don't have enough. I mean, fuck, people think it's so great and so cool because, you know, we're famous and people want my fucking autograph on, on some piece of fucking paper. They never, ever think about the fact that I, I don't see the people I want to be with. Mm -hmm. I don't get to fucking little things, man, fundamentals. Like, I don't get to sleep in my own bed. God, if if you could see half the fucking toilets we have to shit on. Oh, I see them. I'm one of the few who sees them, and I don't use them, <laughs> dude. We have no choice. You, exactly. If you you haven't experienced life until you've been in, in a porta john, uh, at 110 degree heat when there's been fucking 500 other dudes that, that took huge craps in front of you. <laughs> With the flies and the wasps. Oh. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And you're just hoping you don't get stung That's during that lot. time. Um, but I say to you uh, fairly, uh, uh, genuinely, and, and like my dad would say, well, then maybe you need to find a different profession so you can spend that time, more time with your daughter and sleep in your own bed. And maybe you write songs and, and you do what Jason Rauch is doing because I, I love that guy. And I'm not saying that he's going to end, end the day as the richest guy in the world, but maybe he's found a place where he's more at peace yeah. still being around or in the business. He has found peace, and I'm envious of that. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> it, it, it's, a, it's a struggle be between, yeah, I between I love to play I know, live dude. Weird. and I hate to play live. Um, I'll find a balance at some point. I'm, it, it, it's the eternal struggle. At some point, we'll find the balance, dude. That is my uh, that is my fervent hope for you is that you find that balance, wh whatever it is. Thank you. So brother. the next time we talk in the microphones, <laughs> there's going to be a place where you go, wow, I, I I found I found a way out. I guess. Of, of 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 where that feeling of of stuckness is or or whatever you know. Well, just because of this interview, or this conversation, I might be around next time. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> because it, it's it, it's nice it's it's nice to to know that uh, somebody gives more of a fuck than oh hey yeah. the guy on stage you know. Because the guy on stage is conflicted, man. And anyone that tells you he isn't or she isn't, they're lying. The hardest thing for me to do is to reach out to people because of the pride that I have inside of me. Because I think I, I can fix this. I'm the guy. I'm okay. But 
but it's not that way. That's but, relationships, man. Yeah, and we, that's, we get in these relationships because we think we can fix these people. Yeah. I'm in one right now where I, 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 she doesn't need to be fixed. Yeah, she's not trying to fix me, and that's a first for me. Yeah, dude. And she's fucking way younger than I am. You know, it's like interesting. I like old souls. Well, maybe she has an old soul. She does. <laughs> anyway, dude, thanks, thanks a ton for the time. Thanks dude. for the for the conversation, and thanks for uh, for best thirty minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it only took an hour and thirty eight minutes. <laughs> I appreciate it, dude. I love it, man.